Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we'll talk about uh, one of the most popular trading strategies, which is the long short equity. This is uh, an investment strategy that seeks to take a long position in underpriced stocks while selling short overpriced shares. So this is uh, we we'll to go together as usual in Python, but this is uh, just the beginning. We imported some libraries that we'll use uh, later on in the code and then the data. Uh, the, the stocks I, I picked are, uh, as you can see here, Standard Poor, SPY, uh, Meta, Google, and Microsoft. And uh, we use a time window of five years. This is just to backtest our strategy. And uh, okay, as usual, first thing to do is to compute the daily returns of our stocks. So I write the title, daily returns. Okay, first of all, we compute as usual the log returns. So from numpy, mp.logarithm of df, which is our data frame, over df.shift of one, since we want to compute the return of uh, today with respect to the day before. And uh, okay. And uh, then we can compute the average log return, which is simply stock log returns dot mean. And then we have to put one because we want to compute the mean over the the rows. And uh, and that's it. So we have done no mistakes up here. And uh, okay, f uh, we want to plot these uh, these log returns. So we have stock log returns dot plot, and then we we use the figure size as 10.5 so to cover the whole page. And uh, I'm not going to put uh, at least here uh, the the Y label, uh, the the title, and so on because it's uh, useless. It's not the point of this video. And uh, okay, here you can see our all log returns of our four shares. And uh, okay, and uh, now I can plot the distribution of our average log returns uh, uh, day by day. So for instance, I can plot with hist so some histograms and uh, for instance, uh, 100 beans. Uh, the same here, I'm not gonna write the title and so on. And let's see, this is distribution. So as one expect, the 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 mean of the distribution is around zero since we are computing the log returns while if you're computing the returns the the mean will be uh, around one and uh, okay now we get to the the most important part of the code which is the stock allocation so how we want to buy or sell our our stocks okay first we compute the weights, which are simply the stock log readers dot stock log readers dot sub, and then we we put the average log returns. This is just to to write the, the proper code, and finally times minus one. So to invert the sign of the stock log returns. Then we compute the absolute weights because these are, are are needed. So weights, and then we we compute the absolute value. We just need to change the sign whenever we have a, a negative weight. Then we compute the sum of our absolute weights, which we will uh, we'll need uh, later on. Absolute weight sum is equal to from numpy again mp dot sum and then I have absolute weights and then again same as before axis equal one this time okay this is axis and finally the adjusted weights which are the weights we are uh, we are actually considering for for our uh, strategy so the adjusted weights are just the weights dot div and then we have the absolute weight sum 
as I said before. And this is the, re the reason we need to compute this, uh, this quantity. And then we just drop the not number values since maybe at, the, at least the, for the first day of our backtest window strategy. Okay, I have uh, a typo. Okay, just this one. This is absolute weights equal to weights dot apps. Okay, no more mistakes. And uh, I can print just to, to look if it's a reasonable, we have reasonable values for the adjusted weights. And as you can see, this is the the first value. Otherwise you can put tail and then here put the number you want. So if you wanna check the last three days, here we have the last three days. And uh, these are the adjusted weights. So uh, for instance, uh, the last uh, date, so today, the 20th of January 2023, we have 30% on SPY, 19% on Meta, so uh, minus 43% on Google, so uh, a short sell, and uh, the same, uh, minus 6.5% on Microsoft. So we are buying SPY and Meta while, we're, while we are short selling Google and Microsoft. Okay, now we can compute according to this allocation, we can compute the daily returns of our portfolio. So portfolio daily returns is equal to the adjust weight dot shift of one, so the, the day before, times the, the return, so stock log returns. And then again, as before, we we remove the not a number values. And uh, okay, now we can print our daily returns of, of, of our portfolio. So as before, plot of figure size equal to 10.5. And again, we need to show the plot. And here here we have our, our um, log returns of our portfolio according to the, uh, our allocation that we have right here. You see, it's a lot different from here. And uh, okay, now in, in, fact, in fact, we have a lot more values which are uh, above zero. So uh, this means uh, a profit instead of a loss. And uh, finally, we compute the daily strategy returns. So these are just the returns uh, of uh, stock by stock. Now we can compute the daily strategy returns. Okay, now we have, we create this variable, day, daily strategy returns equal to the sum, simply the sum of the portfolio daily returns, again, x is equal to one since we want the sum over the rows. Then we can plot the distribution of this, uh, of this uh, variable, so the daily strategy returns. So again, dot plot, dot histogram of beans equal to 100, like before. And then we show this plot. And here we have our new distribution of our portfolio daily returns. And uh, okay, now we can compute the annualized return. So to have uh, the, the usual number you, you can compare to, for, for instance, some hedge fund or some investment banks. Okay, the annualized average return is equal to 252, which are the, on average, the trading days in a whole year, in a calendar year times the mean of our daily strategy returns. And uh, that's it, and we can print this, uh, this value. So print our annual average return, and here you see our 9% on average, of course. And then I, I also explain you one important thing at the end of the video. Last thing, which is really, really, really important in uh, investments, is in trading is the computer sharp ratio which is a statistical quantity which is i'd say essential in uh, 
when uh, computing the, the quality of an uh, investment trading strategy. And uh, okay, in a few words, the Sherpa ratio is, uh, it compares the return of an investment with respect to its risk. So it's the, the so-called uh, excess return. I write it here, excess, excess return. Uh, okay, this is uh, really simply because um, it's just a, a, a really simple quantity as you can see. So we have the daily, st daily strategy returns mean. So we just compute MP dot mean of our daily strategy returns. Okay, then we have the standard deviation, which is equal to MP dot STD of our daily strategy returns. And finally, we can compute the, the sharp ratio. I, I get one line. Okay, sharp is equal to the square root of 252, literating days in a year as before, times the mean of the daily strategy returns. Okay, I'm just computing here. So uh, the daily strategy returns mean over the standard deviation. So daily strategy returns. Okay, I haven't changed uh, the name. I'm sorry. Daily strategy return. Here, of course, the STD. And here, daily strategy STD. And we print this result. And this is the end of our video. So here we have a, a sharp ratio, a ratio of 82%, 0 0.82. And the last thing to, that I want to remind you is that in this, this is a really simplified example. And uh, uh, for this reason, we're not taking into account uh, the, the transaction, so the fees, the, the cost of transactions. And uh, otherwise, of course, we would have a, a slight lower sharp ratio because um, because of the of these uh, transaction fees, of course. And uh, that's it. This is the the end of the video in which we explain the long short equity trading strategy, which is really really famous in uh, algorithmic trading. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching.